between 260 to 320 cars at all times. 260 to 320 at all times. Yeah. Hi there, RC Go here. Today I'm at JJ Customs RC Hobby Shop in San Jose, California. Super excited to check it out. We're gonna go talk to the owner, check out the inside. He has all his rigs unboxed, so you can touch them, feel them, everything before you buy them. There's also an indoor crawler course. Local hobby shops are disappearing by the day, so go support your local hobby shop, but let's go check it out. Right, here we go. My name's Jason. I'm the owner of JJ Customs. We're glad to have you, Haley. Seriously, cool. so awesome. thanks a lot. Yeah. Give me a tour. Of okay, the shop. yeah, yeah. So check it out. So we're a small shop here in San Jose. Now for crawlers, as you see, we like to have a nice selection. We've been uh, supported by the crawler community, so we want to show the support right back. Um, Got to show our love for Red Cat. The first company I ever sold was Red Cat, so big shout oh, out awesome. to them. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Super affordable. Super affordable. Um, parts availability. You're going to start seeing aftermarket support this year. Gen 8, um, actually Hot Racing's making stuff. We're all stocked up on the Axial vehicles, ready for Axial Fest, so if you guys are looking to pick Yay, up something Axial last Fest minute. 2019. First time for me, I know. Is yeah, it? first time for me too. Okay, cool, it'll be it'll a lot be of fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. And then we have, for the traditional um, scalers, we have a few of the RC four-wheel drive. Very cool rigs. Is this here. The RC four -wheel drive? That is, defender. that's the hard body defender. Yeah. Yes, the four door. We had the cool. two door, the green one, but that one that sold last week. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. And also, can't deny element here. Um, so, What's this? I know, right? I've never seen this before. <laughs> so, the latest and greatest thing on the market. So, yeah, big shout out to Element. Team Associated really did a great job with their 10 scale rig. They actually work really well as far as the tires, really soft compound. So, um, we had actually someone crawl in here last week with it and it did really well. So, yeah, pretty cool rig. It looks nice, right at home there. I know, I think so. Angle. It does, right? And then we always show a lot of love for Axial. So, have the Wraith 1.9. 1.9 Wraith, that might be one of my next purchases. <laughs> I don't blame you, it is cool. I mean... Oh, you get the black one. Yeah, it's sweet. Sick. It is sick. And then you got the Spawn, the old school, which is cool. Got the bomber. Hopefully this will be around for a while. It'd be horrible if they took that away. That's a cool car. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the Ultra 5K and Axial. No Pets. way, are you really? <laughs> I've never competed, but I might. Dude, that'd be fun. cool. That'd be a lot of fun. I have a stock bomber. They yeah, said they have a stock class. So. Just the 5K alone would be hard. Juno with an RC2, they give you credit Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> a test truck for me. My SCX-102 Cherokee is still in the shop, unfortunately, so they're going to let me drive. All right, what are we driving here? This is the Deadbolt 2.0. Okay. So I'm expecting we're going to see a little bit of tire spin because these tires are not broken in, so don't be hard on Haley for that. <laughs> it's not her fault. Big shout out to Off One Crawlers. Tony, thanks, buddy. To the gates. There you go. There you go. Editing, you gotta love that anyway. There you go. Oh, this is tight. Oh boy. And keep in mind, guys, this is a stock axial rig. There's no upgrades on it. 
um, it's the, the deadbolt is super light, so it's that's why you're getting this crazy body movement. Um, so just roll this. Yeah. Oh man. You got it. The drag brake should be through it. You're okay. You got it. <laughs> you know what you need to do like in Moab where they have the tire tracks on here. You yeah, need to like yeah. do some like faux yeah, tire tracks. That'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. One of our customers painted these rocks. Check that out. Whoa! Look at that. That's cool. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Uh, one tire is barely touching it. It looks like it's just that back one right there. It's, that is crazy. Um, my name is Ralph, and uh, I helped the guys out here at uh, JJ's. And right now I'm just putting a set of crawler tires, wheels, the uh, bead locks. Putting, yeah, putting those together. Is this a project for a customer? Uh, it's actually for myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we're called JJ Customs. So this is an infraction body, but this is a Italian chassis with Sunten front and rear. And then we, since the original body didn't fit, the body. we have to customize it, shorten it. Oh, okay. You can't really tell where you cut it. That's awesome. Yeah, so. yeah let's take it outside. Yeah. Yeah. Blaring, it looks tight. <laughs> Crazy Friday night. <laughs> JJ Customs. Hey, hold on. Let me do a video. Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, dude. Beast? Yes, this is a 6S beast. It is. This one, this one, and these two up here are both 6S. Yeah, that's the outcast. The stunt trucks? Yes. And they will do standing backflips. You just hit the throttle, right around. So would you say that this would be a good first RC for someone? No. <laughs> oh, I like this. This is my favorite place to come. This is my second home. Hanging out? Yeah. Yes. When my wife wants to get rid of me, she sends me here. <laughs> and I have fun. I've been... Uh, uh, doing this now for a little over three years, actually, uh, Jason got me started in, the, in, in this hobby. What was the RC that uh, got you into the hobby? Uh, actually, he's the very first that I started with uh, with uh, a red cat uh, buggy, uh, uh, fifth scale gas. Oh wow! Uh, that was your first. One. That was my very first one. Freaks RC. Yeah, Freaks RC. What's up? Definitely Get ready, he's coming out with a triple nine. I heard about that. That's me insane. insane. You can like grab it and it throws you across the room. You're like, I'm Marvin. Awesome. Uh, what do you do here? Store manager. Store manager. Yes. Tell everyone what to do. Crack the whip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what no, are you working uh, on right now? I'm working on uh, um, soldering the connectors, uh, changing the battery connectors. I have, have a video process. on that actually. Yes. Sweet. What kind of soldering iron are you using? I actually need a new one. Mine I got on Amazon for 20 bucks and yeah. it doesn't hold heat very well. <laughs> they sell that price for like 109. Check it out too. This is kind of cool. This is sorry to get sidetracked, but so this is Kyosho, but check this out. You're like a kid in a hot <laughs> I know, I know, I am, right? Chain driven. Wow. Transmission. Interesting. All right. Hi, how's it going? Oh, good. Yourself? What's your name? David. Oh, oh, speed Demon. Demon. Speed Demon. Yeah. So, what is your go to car if you had one to choose from? Arma. The arm of the arm of Typhon. The arm is the way to go. Oh, eight. Eight S. Yeah. Eight to six is for amateurs. How often do you come by? Um, let's see. They're open five days a week. So, yeah, five times. <laughs> I come almost every day except Mondays and Tuesdays when they're closed. Jay, Jay hasn't given the keys yet. All right. We are here. We're going to ask. Jason of JJ Customs, the owner here, a couple questions. So first one, mm -hmm. what brought you into the RC business? That's a good question. So first let me start the hobby. So the hobby, I was looking for a, a, a little release after work, right? So that's how I got into it. And then what led to the actual business was um, I just saw something missing from, you know, locally that I thought I could fill a gap and uh, you know I, I did and so far it's been working so it's been fun but that that was pretty much the start of it yeah awesome yeah. how long have you been here um, so we've been at this facility this the, the first time this is the first storefront we've had originally cool. it was out of my home 
um, in my garage, believe it or not. People used to come to my garage all the time. It was so cool. So cool. But um, yeah, so we've been here for eight months. So cool. not quite a year, but uh, pretty new. Pretty new. Um, been lucky to have a lot of foot traffic and, you know, just trying to keep up and, you know, adjust to the growing pains that we're getting a little bit busier now. And it's been, it's been fun. You know, Good we problem just, to have, though. it is. Yeah. I'd rather be having that problem than others. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty, pretty uh, you kind of answered this, but what is the most rewarding thing about having a hobby shop? Why I do this is not the cars. It's getting people together and, um, it's just the honest, you know, I just left walking in and seeing people that, you know, would normally not pass each other's. Um, you know, cross each other's path in life, and they, they do here. Walking in here, it's a lot different than a typical hobby shop. It's very <clears throat> welcoming. It's kind of like a hangout, so you can come yeah. here, bring your car, right. just hang out with everyone and talk yeah. RC. So. What can people expect from coming into your shop that they can't get with online shopping? That is great. Well, the first thing definitely would be simple customer service. It goes back to the old saying, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. And um, we pretty much just translated that to business too. What's better than going to a place and, and having them actually listen to what you're saying and, and what yeah. you're looking for and to give you a, a you know an honest opinion without upsell? I mean, it's a lot of fun, you know. And people see see through that and see the honesty, and, and typically that leads to a repeat customer. So it's great. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and like I like it here too. You can like touch and feel all right. the cars. You can see what's part of the like right. in the box. Right see all the features and really kind of test it out before you buy it. This will be both of our first times at Axiom yes. Fest yeah, 2019, so yeah, coming so up in a couple weeks. Yeah, crazy. What rigs are you bringing? Okay, so I'm gonna, well, the main- Or what rigs are you not bringing? Not gonna bring, <laughs> right, I know, right? So we built up a Unamog. Um, really, it's a collaboration between Highway cool. One, Chris and Jay, and myself, Sweet. and we're ultimately building a ready to run rig. I'm gonna drive it at Axiom Fest, and then we're gonna give it away. So, um, they're giving it away. Yes. So we will have a uh, raffle and uh, we will make sure to post it on Facebook for anyone that wants to be involved in that. It means your chance to win a, a nice rig. So, and it was painted by Highway 1 Nitro J, 650. Check them on Instagram. Awesome. Awesome paint. So, are you crawling. camping? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I'm cool. going to be staying with Tony at Craw oh, nice. Crawlers. They're going to let me stay at Yeah, we so. rented a, tra like a travel trailer. That's cool. That's so. going to be sweet. That's going to be fun. It's going to be a blast. I hope so. I think so. There's going to be, I mean, there should be a ton of people. The vibe should just be just great, real welcoming. Um, so yeah, I mean, if anyone's thinking about Axial Fest, you can see we're both going for the first time, so maybe it's the year for you too. I mean, you never know. Bringing yeah. two bombers, bringing my new Jeep Cherokee nice. SCX10 too, which nice. is getting worked on as we speak. Cool. And probably my little Can Am, I might bring that too. Very cool. That's a, that's a cool little rig. I mean, it's, it's, fun. it's fun, you know, for when the other ones are charged and kind of just spin yeah. around. And I, someone made me a custom trailer. Jerry Tulin, shout out to him. He made me a custom scale trailer. That's awesome. So. Very cool. Very and good. what's your Instagram handle? Oh, mine is, it's all JJ Customs LLC, all lowercase, no spaces, and that goes for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Cool. And Don't actually, be, that's how we connected, is you reached answer, out yeah, to me on, on Instagram, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. for your opening, and yeah. I couldn't make it, but I'm glad I could. Well, I'm happy to be here today. No, it's a big deal, so thanks for being here. What part of the hobby, what niche or part of it have you not tried out yet that you're interested in maybe? Well, that's where something I was hoping to lean on you for, and that was the airplanes and stuff. So, I mean, we have an account with Horizon, and in all honesty, um, I just haven't really been exposed to them. So, I'm hoping RC Girl could help me out there, maybe... Put me on the right path so yeah, yeah that's what i would like the to do simulator yeah okay and a tiny sport cub s okay work your way up i mean flat like driving you can press the pause button you know turn, right. stop the throttle which is nice but mid air, but in right? air <laughs> you crash so. yeah there's yeah. a lot more at stake i think it's a little right. riskier but it's fun definitely a lot of cool. fun. Good. i also heard that you're making a couple of your own products yes so yes we are should we go check yeah it out? let's go check it out yeah awesome yeah, we're gonna, gonna check, check those out yeah. So we got a c capacitor pack that's rated up to 12S LiPo, so it can handle a ton of voltage. This one is a high-speed spool, and what this does ultimately is allows you to manipulate your gearing to make it a speed-run car. And that's what ultimately these two are used in unison. You use them together, you're going to, with, with the right motor and ESC, you can easily hit 100 miles per hour. It's just a yes. matter of coming in and asking us what to do, and we'll show you what to do.
so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much to JJ Customs and his whole shop staff for their hospitality last night. It was so much fun joining in on all their excitement for the RC hobby. If you're new to the hobby, don't be intimidated by going into local hobby shops. I always felt a little nervous, like I didn't know what the part names were, I didn't have the latest and greatest gear. Go in there, chat with everyone, get to know everyone, ask a ton of questions. Everyone's super helpful and wants to share the love of the hobby. I'm actually thinking of doing a local hobby shop series where I tour around, visit different hobby shops, talk to people. If that would be of interest to you guys, comment below with your local hobby shop name and location. Maybe I'd be able to check it out someday. I got this sweet JJ Customs hat. He just came out with these and I actually got a SF Threads t-shirt, a couple t-shirts there. Pretty cool. So that's it. I have another video coming out this week, part of my Road to Axial Fest series. My Jeep Cherokee is almost complete. We get it running, so stay tuned for that as well. Thanks to JJ Customs again. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you later.